Okay, so today I am going to share with you guys how I post the property um, on a website called MailerLite.com. Um, the reason why I like this website is you guys have probably heard of Lots and Contact and MailChimp and all that, but this is a website that um, pretty much lets you have 1,000 subscribers for free, and we like free. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm about to um, show you guys how I pitch a property to my list and why I think um, you guys should, should use this as well. So once you log in and you're going to have to add your own thing, um, you can, so I'll show you how to add subscribers here. Um, so let's say like this is my buyers list. You can like add a new group, like I call it buyers list. And when you click on it, right, um, like add new subscribers, right, you can either um, add like a spreadsheet, copy and paste from Excel, or add one subscriber at a time. So typically what I do is like when I market for buyers uh, on Craigslist or wherever or somebody hits up my bandit sign and say, hey, add me to your list. I just add single subscriber and I add the email uh, and do it that way. And I also um, I also store my buyers in a spreadsheet. Um, I guess I don't have to show it to you guys, but you know, I'm not going to put people's info out there. But I also um, do that when I'm, you know when I have time. Usually I just add it to the email list because I really don't need to keep it in two places. Um, but anyway, that's how you add them. So once they're there, um, I'm going to show you why um, this tool is so cool. And um, you probably are seeing a lot of investors um, use it. And so, so first of all, I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, use the photos on this new property so I might I might just for the sake of showing you guys um, use some other property because my photos are currently on um, on Google Drive and I don't think I could add from there but let's just say it's like new property available right and I like to add some smileys because they um, they stand out all right let's let's just write like new cherry picked property available I don't know it's catchy I just put some some cherries I don't know if that's cherries but oh never mind there's some cherries and let's put some more cherries over here all right that ought to get somebody to click and um, so this doesn't allow you to use Yahoo and so I'll put my Gmail and I usually just take that away and I just write uh, right Victor P so next it'll be like let's go to the content okay what I like here uh, I do the drag and drop editor because I mean this is like literally for children um, and it's very simple and it's something that I was able to intuitively um, use so as you can see it has my company name here so let's say I'll do like a title right and I'll say um, 123 Main Street Main Street okay and I'll add a link here um, you know let's say uh, I'm trying to think like let's see if I can go to my YouTube all right you're gonna see a bunch of bat battlefield um, I, I need to uh, definitely delete some of those things so let's see here let's just say for example you know let's say just for example I add this video from YouTube okay and this is like a walkthrough okay so I'll just add the link here so that when when they click this it'll take them to the video I can even write something like click for video okay which is cool so you can always add a link to whatever you post here so that's the title right and then I'll click save alright and then I can do text here. I like to do image and text, right? So let's say this is 123 Main Street. And, you know, let's say I'll put the same video here, right? Um, what an incredible property. Now I would never write something so cheesy. Um, I'm a little more creative than that. But, you know, just for whatever. Um, 
Amazing, amazing, blah, blah, blah. ARV, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get it. So you can write down whatever you need, okay? And then in the photo, uh, I guess I click on the photo. I'll browse, right? And let's just say, you know, for whatever. Let's say this one. All right, but how would we? Uh, yeah, so we can upload an image um, from our pictures or whatever, and it'll automatically store for next time. So let's say we do this one, right? And what I like to do, um, usually I'll have more text, of course. So just imagine like blah blah blah. Well, let's just make this more believable. Blah 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 blah. Amazing, amazing. Blah blah blah. Let's add a few more amazings here. So after you tell them how incredible your property is, okay, we'll save that. And then I like to do a video at the bottom, right? And this is just really cool. So here's my video URL, right? And you gotta let, oh no, whoops. That's amazing, amazing. So what we'll do on MailerLite, we'll put the video URL here and you can use a Google Drive. Let's see if this loads up. So you have to let it load up first, right? And video preview will give them an animated GIF. And the cool thing about this is before you send it to your list, you can actually send it to yourself to make sure everything went good. Um, this is an incredible resource, and hopefully this won't take too much time loading. Um, it's really an incredible resource because I'm doing this all for free. Now, when I get to a point, like, look at that. I mean, that's really cool. That's going to be in the email. So let's save that, right? And we'll go to done editing. Boom, I've already pitched my property, right? So let's say I just click, boom, I want to send to my buyers list, review and confirm, right? And it'll go there. Um, let's just do it, like, let's just say wholesale, because there's only one person there, so I don't even know who it is, so whoever's on there. All right, so I haven't, it hasn't even sent out yet, okay? So what we're going to do is um, we can send a test email to myself, right, just to make sure it looks good. All right, and now let's go to my email. Boom, test, new cherry, and now obviously it won't say test when you get it. New cherry pick property available. Typically I'll write the address there or whatever you want to write, okay? So when we double click it, look how it looks in the email. I mean, and you can add your own little tweaks there. I mean, I'm very primitive. I have a, one photo there and you can click it and that'll lead you to my Google Drive and then the video walkthrough there. Um, you might even add a prospectus from like, bigger pockets or something to add the rehab costs and this and that. Like I once had a, a wholesaler respond to me very positively because, and I didn't even do it. I was like a JV that somebody else had done, but I put a prospectus in there with the rehab costs, estimated rehab costs and like, you know, everything done professionally. And I got really positive response from that. Um, so you can, you can add your own little tweaks here. Um, and so, you know, let's say I'm happy with this. I just go back here and I say, um, you know, so that that's all done. So I just go to schedule, right? And I can choose send now, send later, right? I mean, this is ridiculous. I can literally schedule this, right? And track this campaign with Google Analytics. Like, I don't even mess with that, but I mean, all right, let's just click it. So, you know, it's a fantastic free tool. And uh, I think over a thousand subscribers, I'm sure their prices are very reasonable. So um, I hope you guys find this helpful. And you know what? Let's send this to whoever's on that list. I don't know who it is. <laughs> it's somebody. Uh, I have one wholesaler on there. So if you get it, um, you're getting yourself a nice email. So I um, hope you guys found this helpful. I know you guys um, you know, gave me some compliments on my other videos. So I'm glad you guys um, were able to get uh, value out of that. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, see you guys around.